My name's Big Chuck, and I'm half of CJ's. On the other half, my name's Chad. What made y'all want to open a store in Lebanon? I've been hustling since the age of five, so this is nothing that's new. I just needed an establishment for it. Basically, everything like fell into place. Uh, I've been collecting shoes for like almost four years. Uh, Foot Locker went out of business, and Chuck's been doing his hustle with the Royals. We're all the Muslim attire, so we just collaborate together, and there's CJ's. What's your main goal out of turning this up? My main goal is to reach out to the kids. Uh, because it's all about walking in a different path, and we all need sneakers to do it. We all need knowledge to do it. You know, we all want to do it, you know, positively. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is about the kids, this one. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I can't agree uh, anymore. Uh, just to give back to the community. Uh, just provide an outlet for, like, the trouble at the children. Um, and also reward the, the kids that are doing well in school as well. So uh, we have some, uh, some promotional uh, giveaways that are going to be coming up soon. Uh, so stay tuned, fellas. Appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all. Let's take them in. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Oh, what's going on? All right, just chilling, having a good time. Can I help you? Do you know uh, what size you like? I'm new around. I'm not really. I'm not really hip to sneakers. I'm just trying to see what we got in here. Well, here at CJ's, we'd like to welcome you first and foremost. Um, we got the lowest prices in the seven one seven. Oh, really? We got a variety. We got Jordans. We got Yeezys. We got Air Force Ones. You know the typical, the typical uh, shoes that you would like to have. We also got apparel, books, healthcare, skincare, shea butters. Of course, you got Big Chuck's oils. I thought you guys just sold sneakers. Oh no, we got a couple of clothing. We got some back to school stuff, sunglasses. We got some bracelets for the women. We got some soap to keep you fresh. We got some shea butter to keep you shined up, feeling good. Also, we got that sea moss in. This is the big seller right here at CJ's. This is a um, superfood. Shout out to my man, Josh. Hey man, say man, it's always a soul saving day, man. You know the vibes. We're here at CJ's trying to do something different. We're changing the narrative, talking about sneakers. Sneakers? Yes, sneakers. Beers and oils too, though. All right, stay tuned for more, man. Tap in. So you said you got all different shoe sizes up in here. You know what I'm saying? I know you said you got a size 15 for me. What's the smallest that you carry? Smallest is about uh, a 4C. Let me ask you, be selling any shoes that small? Of course. I mean, everybody's having babies out here. Respect. Respect. Um, Today's car show, I know that joint had to be a crazy opportunity. People walking by the store left and right from all around the community. What was that energy like today? Oh, man, it was great. Um, a lot of people just stopping to look. A lot of people stopping to ask questions. Um, you know, I had a couple of deep conversations with people. You know, they say that's, this is what the town needs. So, you know, that's what I'm going to give to them. You're going to save their soul through their shoes. Yeah, that's well, heavy. Know, I think, you know, we all walk different paths, but, you know, some people walk in, you know, Air Force Ones, and uh, some people walk in Balenciagas. I respect it. I respect it. I ain't never had no Balenciaga, but we rock a polo shoe. <laughs> Honestly, the the Balenciaga is this, my second favorite shoe, but the Yeezy is the most comfortable, especially when you're uh, a big guy like myself. Respect. Respect. Let me ask, how'd you get in the shoes? Or, or what, what, when did you get in the shoes? Shoes has always been a part of my life. Um, as a young kid, I couldn't get what I wanted. You know, I had to settle for, you know, what my parents could provide. Um, and, you know, as a young kid, I was envious in that because I always wanted what I wanted. But as an older man, you know, I started to get what I wanted. Um, you know, these, these shoes, you know, I, I love them. Um, and you know, I want to be different. I don't want to be like someone else. I don't want to have something that someone else has. 
Um, but, you know, once I became old enough to purchase my own, you know, I was wearing, you know, top tier shoes, you know what I mean? So that's that, that was important to me. I, I believe that, you know, shoes tell about a lot about a person. I mean, look at the the movie about Forrest Gump, you know. Mm, he was running. Definitely. Okay. So, you know, I'm, I'm more of a, okay. a pace player, you know, I'm just, you know, taking it easy. I respect that. So you said you want to do things different in the shoe game. So let me ask, how do you intend on changing the narrative when it comes to these shoe, shoes? Like, we got Jordans, we got Air Force Ones, we got Yeezys, Balenciagas. How you plan on changing the narrative? I mean, honestly, it's, it's the same game that I played, just a different playing field. Um, I will undercut and I will look for deals as, you know, anybody else is trying to look for a deal, but I will undercut any other person pretty much and um, looking to retain that customer like for a long period of time. Um, you know, it's, it's something that just comes natural. You know, if someone's going a half hour or 40 minutes here, you know, whoa. You know, we got it here for you. Don't, 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 don't look no further. Mm. Come down to CJ's. Mm. On that note, we're going to take a moment. So I got a quick question. I heard there was a rumor around town in reference of mentoring kids. Can you, can you, can you talk to me a little bit more about this possibly? Sure. Um, I was living in Harrisburg prior to living in Lebanon, but I was working with <clears throat> kids in Harrisburg, um, you know, trying to give them small jobs to do to earn some money you know they weren't making a million dollars but you know to see a kid have a little mitt on them you know and mm. doing it the right way that was that means a lot to me um you know a lot of kids are out here doing the wrong thing when you see some kids that have the ability to do the right thing you know i want to invest i respect that i like that a lot i feel like i agree we gotta try and celebrate these little wins you know what i'm saying i say little but it's actually kind of major for any of us to say we willing to take the longer route knowing that it's gonna be harder it's gonna take longer it's gonna make me stronger you know what i'm saying a lot of us can't see that when we want to win when we win we try and do anything to win sometimes that win come in with a detrimental cause that we can't even imagine i'm like can you relate to any detrimental steps in your in your journey to get to here you know what i'm saying that you that you're trying to prevent for the next generation, you know what I'm saying? We try to change the narrative and do it differently, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, they know they know how I used to rock. I mean, incarceration played a big part. Okay, that's deep. Um, I'm 38, you know, I've been there probably eight, 18 years. Not straight, but, you know, put some time in. At the end of the day, sitting back, realizing what I was doing was wrong. You know, my goal was to come back out and to do something different. Um, sales is my thing um, and at the end of the day this is was my focus and this was what I wanted to do um, I'm trying to prevent kids from going to prison um, realizing that prison ain't even the same no more you know you see these these movies and stuff like that it's 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 turned up you know you could die in there you know what I'm saying like you know and and, and for less you know owing two or five dollars you know what I'm saying and and out here, you know, it's more or less like you owe me 50 bucks. Now you have to die. You know what I mean? The kids don't know the value of life anymore. Oh. Um, and at the end of the day, I want to provide that and give them the knowledge that they need. At the end of the day, I feel like as you reach out to kids being youth, you know, at the middle school, this is where it needs to start. You know, I, I like the, that's where it started for me. Like I was you know, smoking cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? In, As middle, a, school, in middle school. In middle school. Sixth grade. I mean, I got middle schoolers vaping right now. Like, we trying to we trying to work on that, but not cigarettes. Jeez. Man, I thought that was cool. And I was trying to be down. It's but, like uh, that. Anything for acceptance. You know not what no saying? more. I feel like we trying to emphasize to our youth, you know what I'm saying? It's time to look into the mirror, and that's the only acceptance that you really need, you know what I'm saying? It's people around you your whole life who's never going to understand your journey, never going to understand your process. You just got to keep going and stay focused on your journey. On that same note, it sounds like from from a little bit of your story, whatever you put your mind to, you, you seem to have been knocking down. You said, I'm a salesman, I, I know that, knock it out. 
we're going to e elevate it. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask how or what would you tell yourself 10 years ago? What What is what is some game you would drop, drop on yourself from 10 years mm -hmm. ago? You know, invest, invest, invest. You know what I'm saying? If you look at where we're at now in this age, everything has inflated. Just imagine if you take care of yourself as well as your body, you know, your property and stuff like that, you know, things will deteriorate over a period of time, just as as we will, but I mean I lost my I lost my situation right there. Right. <laughs> like you said, things do deteriorate, you know what I'm saying? Understand. Your health gonna deteriorate if you don't take care of it. Your wealth gonna deteriorate if you don't invest in it. You know what I'm saying? Your family gonna deteriorate if you don't provide for it. Hey, it's so many different atmospheres of deterioration. Just be grateful every day you wake up and be able to breathe, you know what I'm saying? If you could take that breath, that's another opportunity to do something with it. The choice is yours, what you do with your time. Give me a minute, I'm gonna do something with mine. But Honestly, uh, my path changed when I was incarcerated. Um, you know, one day walking a child, you know, a person had a problem with me. And, you know, it happened. You know what I mean? Um, so much so where, you know, a second earlier or a second late, I might have been dead. But, you know, I'm here to, I'm here to tell that story. And that's, and, that's, and that's real rap. That's real talk right there. Um, so each, each time I wake up in the morning you know i want to thank god for just being here you know a lot of people don't know but in a couple of days i'm about to celebrate 16 years being muslim oh, um or... with a different with a different venture and a different path um these books that i have over here i haven't read them all but trust me i've read i know a lot that they contain and it contains beneficial knowledge on not just in this life but in the next and the next life is more important than this life because you don't know where you're gonna be at an hour from now or the next day. Um, life is short as we can see in our daily lives that you know, people are passing away each day that we love. Um, some are senseless killings, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, like we need to reach out and educate our youth at this time. You know, this is a new year, this is a new school year. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's figure out something like We've seen what's happened in our city, you know, in this last year, a lot of senseless killings, you know, as we get together as a community, you know, there's other leaders in this community also. I mean, if not me, it should be, you know, the families themselves. But I feel like this this year should be different and we should prepare um, to be better this year than we were last year. Um, and I feel like, you know, a lot of people talk about it, but I'm trying to be about it. CJ's trying to be about it. We're trying to be in the school this year and be looking for those kids that need some mentoring. That, you know, want to put, you know, um, hanging out and chilling with the homies. Right. You know what I mean? And, and, and actually learning how to balance a checkbook or write a check. Right. You know, or, you know, change some oil or something like that. That's you know? I don't know nothing about cars. I don't get my hands dirty at all. Hey, I don't like to get my hands dirty either. That's why I never <laughs> been a mechanic. More like a cook, but uh, on that note, I lost my thought, but I want to emphasize, I heard the word community a few times. We got a back to school event, August 27th. I need y'all to tap in. Community engagement is a theme, second annual. We're doing things differently. We look forward to seeing CJ out there, you know what I'm saying? We look forward to seeing you out there too and your neighbor, and your, and your cousin. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you bring the whole family because we're doing it differently. You know what I'm saying? Dinner time is at 5 p.m. sharp. The event is from 1 to 7 p.m. Make sure y'all tap in. My man said he be cooking. I heard they called you chef. Yeah. What, 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 what you be chefing up in the kitchen? Oh, man. I'm chefing up everything uh. pretty much, but... It was a passion that I had. I mean, I still can cook. All you right. don't lose it. What's, what's your number one dish in the kitchen that you're whipping? Talk to me. Oh, man. Probably some uh, homemade... Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't even say right now. Chef, we put them on the spot. I some chicken alfredo, you know, homemade pasta. 
you know, with the homemade bechamel, you know what I mean? I don't know what bechamel is, but it better taste good on some chicken pasta. Bechamel is the sauce, the white sauce, pretty much okay. made from, you know, milk and a root, and a, and a, and a, um, and a root. Okay. All right, hey, now I'm just power. I don't, I don't do the cooking. I do the eating, though. You hear me? I eat. I don't cook. It's a difference. I stay in my lane. Back to you, chef. What's your number one favorite dish that you would eat? I'm a fish and chips kind of guy. Okay, you can't beat that. You, you know can't I mean? beat that. Trying, trying to, trying to be this, do this healthy thing this time, man. Too, you know. Been under a lot of stress, man. My blood pressure through the roof. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, I'm about, to, I'm about to turn over a new leaf and get into this nutritious stuff and, and, and start showing y'all, you know, some things that you can take that are provided here at the store, you know? <clears throat> I'm trying to put you on. My man said, here at the store, I need to know more about this sea moss because I'm like, I'm looking at it. Like, I need some for me. Local, organic, Natural. Superfood. Superfood. Oh my goodness. I've been looking for some sea moss. I don't know how to turn it into the stuff that I need to the, to the gel, but I think that might be a new conversation. What you think? Oh, for sure. You, you got a method? You got but a process? That's that, but that's that before the gel. All this, you need to do is, you know, throw that in a pot, you know, turn the stove on, and, you know, bring that thing to a, a, a boil and let it simmer. Strain it, um, you know, let it cool, and you know, put it in a blender. A little bit of, uh, I don't want to say solution, but you know, like water, and you know, it'll uh, liquefy, jellify, excuse me. Just, just like this. Yeah. You heard it here first. I think I need me some. We're going to leave that up there. So uh, here at CJ's, you know, we like to have fun. So uh, what we're doing now is we have a raffle coming up. We already have a couple contestants. We're looking for 10 um, to bring $20 in. We're going to be giving away a, uh, not giving away, but raffling a uh, seven and a half Air Force One Puerto Rico. I chose that sneaker because of the Hispanic culture day that we just had the other day, which was beautiful to see. Um, and I chose that because I feel like that's a good, a good thing to choose at this time. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that we're also going to be having a premium package that's going to be starting here at CJ's where you'll be paying $120 per year, which equivalents to $10 a month. And this allows me to work for you to get you what you need. I'm going to try to take care of you. I don't want you going any other place, but here, um, to get whatever, um, and we're growing, but, uh, this membership will allow you to use it for your family or whatever. Let me know in advance what you're looking for, like a month prior, that way I can be ready. And then when that comes, um, we're going to have it for you. Let's just say I didn't get it for you because it's not a hundred percent, but, uh, what I would do is I would take your name down and I would put you into a, a free raffle that we're having in the upcoming just for being that premium member. And you heard it here first. We back in action like we never left Captain. Talk to him. So I heard it's like a hundred or more different be, uh, oil fragrances. fragrances. Yeah. Tell me more about that. Oh, it's deep, man. Um, you know, after getting clean and fresh, fresh and so clean, you know, I love to, you know, put an oil on. Um, like I said, like I got introduced to this in the city of Philly. I mean, if anybody ever been to Philly, you know that, you know, you go to South Street, you go and leave there smelling like some oils. But, uh, as a young man, it was a good, it was a good thing that I saw that I, I liked. And, um, you know, once I actually became Muslim, I loved oils to put them on. You know, it's, it's way better than wearing cologne. Um, this here. Uh, so many, so many good reports about this amber white. You might have heard of it, but this thing will change your life. This thing will have somebody hopping up on you. you know? 
I need me some of that. I need yeah, a we girlfriend. Get you some of that yeah, right me. now. I need a girlfriend. You know what I mean? These are a lot of the woman's fragrances. You know, I don't really know. But that, that amber white is a unisex. You know, everybody likes that. Um, if you had to pick one, what would your favorite con be? Actually... I like the I, I like import. I really don't do the domestic thing. Mine's my oils cost a little bit more because they're actually um import. But Gucci too. Um the YSL for men and um that Creed Aventus. You already know that Creed Aventus in the bottle is about four hundred. I got it here for five dollars. The Creed Aventus? The Creed Adventus. That's then I got that so I got that silver mountain too. That silver mountain, that that's gas. Alright, we got I gotta get I gotta get hip to this amber white cause what you I, think I, got, of that? I don't know, I think it's alright. I just need That's light. That's one of light. my feminine friends to come and give a, a your boy a hug. You oh, hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. Um in regards to the oil, like you get it all shipped in. I get it shipped in, but you know, as you know, as you've seen me. I do a lot of traveling, so you know some people have different different fragrances and stuff like that. Some people carry more more uh, domestic or designer than import. Um, you know, a lot of people don't want to wear import or domestic. They want you know the designer or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's dependent on what you want. Okay, I think I want a little a little bit of that amber. But it's just something about it when uh you know you got the. The big bottle and you busting it down and you know you like you flipping it right. and you're seeing like the you know your money just triple or you like actually see the process i don't even know what come at the what come at the triple quadruple quadruple right. yeah that's what happens when you come and buy big chuck oil i'm quadrupling you can't beat that though i'm like and i'm giving it to you for the low i'm not beating you in the head that's like four times the value that's a lot all right all right i'm like can we rewind it though a little bit? I want to talk about the young bucks. We was talking about mentorship and things like that and the hustling energy. So I'm curious on how we can tie all this into one. You've been hustling since you were five, you said, you know, and you had a big message that you would have gave yourself back then from now. So in that same motion, you being in the school, how does that, how is that gonna, what would that look like? If, what would that look like to you? I'd be trying to look for myself all over again. <clears throat> as what does kids. that mean? You know, somebody that's hanging out in the hall, somebody that's, you know, in a student lounge and every lunch, you know what I mean? Just just hanging out, skipping class, hanging out in the bathroom. Chopping. Um, you know, those are the type of kids that I that I need their attention. These are the kids that are, you know, they're on their own time. And I just want a little bit of that time just to, to give you some beneficial knowledge or to build a rapport with you. Mm, that's heavy. Um, he said a little bit of that time. Yeah, you know, we have 24 hours in a day. Like, how much are we setting aside for ourselves, for our families, for schoolwork, for work? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to come up with a regimen. You know, I believe that you know, structure is key, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, keep doing the same thing that you're doing as long as it's positive. I agree mm -hmm. with that. I created a quote. I always say, five minutes of my time will change five years of your life. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that quote in regards to you? Yeah, five minutes with me, I'm gonna try to save your life. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I have brothers that stop by that, you know, need some help need need somebody to talk to you know i'm that i'm that person you know especially when it's dealing with a problem when it's dealing with uh family i can't give no relationship advice right. you know what i'm saying like i can't even get myself together you know what i mean when was the last time you had a girlfriend maybe about nine months ago uh oh okay 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 it's like that though it's like that though dang we are moving up a set about a year ago <laughs> This is, I forgot we almost since September. Yeah. Let me ask. Twenty twenty flew by for you, huh? You lose. Twenty twenty. You losing data. This. You losing. Wow. You losing track of what month we in. Twenty twenty must have been a, a good a good year. 
2020 was a, a year that, you know, changed my life. I got into this, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, everybody, um, I just came home. Everybody hiding, you know, due to COVID. I'm trying to enjoy my life. You know, at the end of the day, I'm, you know, I understand this, this, this thing took a lot of people down. But, you know, I, I'm a person that believes that no one can take me down but myself. That's heavy. Um, you know, only us, we can destroy ourselves. Uh, and, you know, 2020, like, I got into this. And I started doing this, and it just like kept spreading. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was doing a lot of vending in like barber shops and got to connect. Shout out to my man Gizo. Uh, you know, for like giving me a chance to experience business. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the time it was done in the street. Now I'm behind in, in, in an establishment door. Right, you know what I mean? And, and to me, it. that's that's a big thing, you know. I don't need to hang out on the street no more. I just come hang out at the shop. You know what I'm saying? That's big facts. And I, I want the kids to be able to come here and hang out at the shop. I mean, this ain't no 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 powwow, but you know, we need to get get together and you know, have a a day where we're getting together and you know, playing playing games, talking, working out. You know what I'm saying? Doing these community type type things, even picking up our community with trash. I like that. You know, a lot of the time, I like that. You know, we out here. Throwing stuff on the ground and making our neighborhoods look bad where you live. You know what I mean? You gotta, we gotta do better at that. You hitting a lot of points. Let me pull some cards now. I'm like, you know, the Soul Savers, Small and Soul Savers, we're a mental health foundation doing prevention-based work through sports, fitness, and motivation. Sound like you'd be motivating a little bit. You know what I'm saying? As a mental health person, would you be willing to undergo some uh, a, a training or two to receive a certification to? now have accredited oh you are a counselor on x y you see what i'm saying a mental health advocate would that be something you'd be willing to do i would do that okay 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 i didn't need a, i didn't think i need a certification i feel like i've been certified by the streets as oh, a nah. mentor <laughs> see no i totally agree i totally agree you know what i'm saying life can teach us things that these pieces of paper will never be able to equate to but the difference is these pieces of paper won't get us in the door that our life will never give us an opportunity for. Nice. You see what I'm saying? And, that's and this what is I how we do. break these barriers and bridge these gaps. You know what I'm saying? We're dealing with the kids. We got to teach them at a younger age. Yo, you can be street smart and book smart because that's the only way you're going to really survive and, and get to where you're trying to go to, respectfully speaking. It's always, oh, you can get it on this side or get it on this side. The choice is yours. Why can't we have both? I feel like now we're giving them an opportunity to have both. Second question to pull your card. You know, the Soul Savers orchestrates a community cleanup and we once a month. I'm like, we haven't done it in 2022, but would CJ be willing to, to orchestrate that? We get it back rocking. We got a group for it and everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to pick some of these kids, these these kids. At the end of the day, you gotta put put some work in to um, you know, get some work. So, you know, at the end of the day we We've uh, here at CJ's. We took on a high school kid already working here, um, and you know that really makes me feel good in my heart that I'm actually able to help help someone. Right. A lot of kids have come here and asked to work here, um, you know, and that's amazing. You know, and that just shows me that that's kids kids are on on that lane and on that vibe. You know what I mean? They're receiving it. Yeah. That's a blessing. And here in the city, we've had a lot of good support, man. A lot of good feedback. A lot of good, you know, people coming to show up and show out. Shout out to all the grandmas that came in with their grandkids and caught them sneaks. I know sneaks don't cost 50 bucks no more, mm. but I appreciate you. Hey, support small business. Support local business. Keep going on what we're doing, man. It's a hard journey, but only the strong survive. The choice is yours and how high you can take it. Tap into it. Hey, man. Say, man. It's always a soul-saving day, man. This video is brought to you by Blended Heads. We want to say thank you to Blended Heads for making sure we stay laced in everything that we do and everywhere that we go. Prod time hairdo. Oh, my goodness. Come on down, y'all. Get your hair done. One and only Blended Heads. It's community, man. It's community. And it's about to go down. You know the vibe, it's always a soul saving day. We back outside of CJ. Hey, hey, it's nighttime now. You know what I'm saying? 
Normally it's cold right now. What would you normally be doing on this on a Sunday right now? Man, I'm always grinding. I'm always grinding, man. You know, the day of rest for me is Friday at noon time. That's when I have my time. Okay. He said Friday at noon. I mean, we far from a break. You know what I'm saying? You heard it here first. Hit up. I don't know what she said if you want your lashes done, but tap in. You know what I'm saying? Community vibes. We outside tapping in with our community. Making sure we on the map with CJ. Right. We ran through. You know what I'm saying? We checked out all the shoes. We checked out the oils. You know what I'm saying? We checked out the sea malls, trying to get some health and nutrition. I think the only thing we missed was the knowledge and wisdom. Can you give me any? If you intend to, if you intend to have something, make an intention. That way you can follow through. Um, our actions are by intentions only. And if you have a positive one, you can get a positive um, outlook on your vision. Inshallah, Lord willing, I'm alive. Um, like I said, you don't know what what, what will happen. Uh, but in three years, you know, I, I plan on, you know, being somewhere different than this. This is just the beginning, you know. I'm always stepping it up and leveling it up. Um, you know, my team is crazy, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to, you know, my, my mind is always moving, you know, and thinking of the next thing that I'm going to do, you know. You see me, it's, it's a lot of progress, um, you know, and I just feel so so blessed to be here right now you know what i'm saying because you know life is promise you know what i'm saying um i want to shout out to my man right now you know he, he's not here um uh, my man farouk you know we talked about doing the store thing and, you know he's not here but uh you know i just hope that he's looking and seeing this and you know i just hope that you know it's just making him smile um, also, um, you know, at CJ's, you know, we came up with this, with the logo. Everybody want to know about the logo, right? right? Like, I'm like, where did it um, come from? But, you know, my first time ever getting locked up, you know, I got locked up in Lancaster. So, you know, everybody like, oh, you from Lebanon. But I never really had, like, no, really no street name. My street name was Black. Okay. But there was a lot of Blacks in jail. Right. I thought everybody So was they black. started calling me Chicago Reds. Um, and it was funny, but, you know, my, you know, I'm Red Bone, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I think the C came from, you know, Chicago for a name, but, uh, here at James, um, you know, the, the, the label is, is more significant. You know, one of my best friends that's been rocking with me for so long, my man Chad, has always been there for me when I had no place to even live. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, I was, you know, living on, you know, just the bare minimum, you know what I mean? But I was, I was, I didn't stop pushing, you know what I'm saying? I didn't give up. And, um, you know, like when it comes to my friends, I only want people that's going to bring me up and not bring me down. Um, my man Chad has been there for me. Um, you know, his brother, he's not here no more. Uh, Jay, Jason, but Jay is what makes up for him, for his brother. Jay is what makes up the CJs, um, and Jay's is for Jordans too, um, and C is for me, and C is for Chad, you know, um, but uh, honestly, you know, I'm just blessed to be here, and it, it means so much right now, because I know it's only going to get better, I know I'm only going to get better, Big with time. Um, you know, I, I see it, um, people are telling me, you know what I mean, it, it means so much to me when somebody comes up and says, yo, I'm proud of you, what? Some kid come in and say, yo, I want to be like you. What? You know, I'm like, Shh. I don't even know how that feels me, with, to make me inside. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, asking me for advice how they can be successful. You know, like, dang, bro, I made a lot of mistakes, but I'm here to tell you about the mistakes so you can be successful. I don't want you to have to learn the hard way, learn from my mistakes. When I was hanging out, when I was in, in jail, I was with the old heads down for, they've been down for 40 years. Let me know about your mistakes, what you did. You know what I'm saying? That way I don't I don't have to go through them. And here at CJ's and reaching out to the kids, this is what I wanna let you know. I wanna tell you stories about 
what life is like behind bars. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's real. That's heavy. Life is a lesson. Ooh. Life is a lesson. Life is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Understand. You got to be able to teach teach others on the lessons you learn and learn from your own lessons that you go through and understand every day that you're blessed to be able to keep going through these lessons. Ooh, that's deep. I need y'all to... Ooh, that's deep. Ooh, that's deep. I ain't got no more to say. Where we at? But, um, you know, this this thing with the community, man, we got to be more, more in tune with our kids. You know, where is your kids at right now? Uh, my cousin trying to get me to college, but I chose the streets. Shout out, cousin. We outside, though. Um, but yeah, man. Um, you know, I want to uh, take this time right now to to have a little moment of silence for my man, Mr. Getz. He, he, um, he passed away, and um, he was an instrumental piece in my life. Moment of silence for Mr. Getz, real quick. Sleep well. But Mr. Getz made me stand all day in school and write, I will not be an ass at the Lebanon Middle School 500 times. And once I got that knocked out, I could sit down. But one day he caught me sleeping in the in the back, standing up. I don't know how you do that, but <laughs> you said go ahead and sit down. But that's that's one uh, a good memory right there that I just uh, wanted to like let loose. But um Shout out to them teachers that really trying to take the time and the, and the faculty in the schools that's taking the time to reach out to the kids and just have a minute of time with them. You know what I mean? Shout out to my man, Mr. Carl Licka. Mr. Licka. He's still out here doing it too. Yeah. Doing it big. Shout out to the whole team at LHS. You already know how we rocking, you know what I'm saying? Representing proudly. Uh. Instagram. What's your Instagram? Instagram is CJ's Drip. Facebook is the same. That's a big C underscore J A Y S Drip. Tune in, follow us. I'm telling you, you can win free stuff. We give you the lowest prices. I guarantee it that we're going to have the lowest prices in the city, in the county, and also in the 717. I heard free. I heard free. I like free shoes. I need some shoes. I need shoes. I just, we didn't gave about six, seven pair already. I'm missing out. I'm missing out. You missing out too. Come tap in, man. You already know where we at. You see it. You know what I'm saying? You heard it right here first. It don't get no better than that. Just know it's always, always, always a soul saving day. And just know we saving souls. You know what I'm saying? At CJ's today. Got the on. Ha, 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 ha.